and welcome back to video number 16 of the RC aircraft design using SolidWorks series. So on our last video, or videos, we focused on getting these inlet and exit ducts here on the wingtips created and lofted. And then the next one, I said we were going to start focusing on this wing root uh, duct entrance, which is this part right here. So based off of my documentation, what I have been able to discover is that here at this line right there is wing station 33. Just inboard of the location right here where my mouse is pointing is station 42, which is basically the beginning or the inboard edge of this elliptical duct entrance. And then right about here is station number 71, which is where the first leading edge panel uh, bolts to the wing, the main wing structure. So basically between 71 and 42, which is about right here, is what this duct takes up. Almost, not quite all of it, but the vast majority of it. So I'm going to just kind of cheat a little bit. We're going to go with from station 42 to basically station 65. That's going to be the full width of this duct work. And based off the top plan view of the construction drawings I have, this duct pops just forward of the leading edge of the wing. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting on a response back from a couple of documentation sources. In this case, it's the National Air and Space Museum at the Hazy Center here in Washington, Dulles. Hopefully, they'll have the remainder of report D3 for this airplane, which is basically all of the preliminary design data and not necessarily anything structural or specific for erecting the airplane, but just the, the coordinate data more or less. So hopefully they'll have that for this and the wingtips. And if they do, we'll redraw all of it so it's perfect. But until then, we're going to work on just kind of making something that looks about right. So first things first, what I want to do is I want to create a leading edge outline of this because this duct is actually straight ahead, but it's angled parallel to the leading edge. So what I mean is the entrance is parallel to the center line of the airplane for the airflow, but the leading edge, actually the duct itself is angled slightly off. So it's parallel with this, but the airflow is this way. So our duct needs to be lofted to where it goes like a parallel to the length of the airplane. So the first thing we want to do in preparation for that is we want to convert this line here so that we can use that as a cut. So along the top plane, I'm just going to sketch a top point here. I'm going to convert the leading edge line here. And then I'm just going to create that as just close it in as a box. And it doesn't need to come all the way out here to the tip, nor does it need to come all the way out here to the fuselage. We just name it like that. Next thing we want to do is we're going to use our front plane this time, and we are going to draw on the front plane a shape that looks about the correct size and the correct shape for what we want. So here's the front plane, station zero. We'll just sketch on it, and I'm actually going to convert this as well, and then I'm going to right-click on it and make it construction geometry so it's just a center line as well. Next thing I want to do is, is based off those two stations we have, I'm going to draw two vertical center lines as well. And then I'm going to dimension those from our origin so we have the correct point. In this case, it's going to be, let's say, 42. I'm just going to make it just a little bit bigger than that at 40. And then the next one is going to be Not quite 70, we'll go with 67. So there we have the width of our entrance duct. And then this, I am going to do another one between here. This will make the top and bottom 
limits of our duct as well because the top doesn't necessarily go all the way up to the top of the wing it actually stops just a little below it as you can see here in the photo the bottom is protrudes pretty far down but the top not so much so what we will do now is we will use our probably our plane tool i think would be our best option plane or a it's one of those things where you just kind of got to play around with it to where you get the right shape. Yeah, we'll probably use our, our spline tool. So we'll start here. The center line. Figure out something that will look reasonably close, which that is not even nowhere near close. And we can see that it put a relation on that line, which we don't want. So we'll just delete that. We can also see that this line is pretty pretty high up on the wing. So let's just put a little dimension here to see what we come up with. So that's seven inches. Let's do five inches. Let's try five and a half. There we go. And it's just a bunch of looking back and forth between photos. You notice it's got a nice little round here on the inside corner. We'll work on that here momentarily. But for now, I'll drag these outer points out just a little bit, and I'll show you why here in a bit. This, I think I'm going to make tangent to that line, and then we can adjust this stuff to get the shape we want. And what we may find Is that that spline just doesn't work for us so we'll delete it and we'll try again we can see the bottom one has what well, appears to be a much larger arc. So let's dimension this one here. Instead of it being 10, let's do 7.5. Looks pretty close to me. Then we'll take our next spline. I don't know about you guys, but that kind of looks pretty close to me. It's not perfect, but it's pretty dang close. Kind of like that shape. That in. What I will show you is here the fillet tool. What we can do is we can sketch a fillet right here, hopefully. And what we can do is we can adjust the size of the fillet to get the correct location of that. And you see that's that's a pretty tight one, and this one is pretty small, so it's definitely not that big. With the oblique angle that that photo is in, I would say that's pretty close. The outboard one is a lot sharper based off my photos compared to the inboard one. I think what we'll do is we'll try half that there and then this one here go a little bit larger at two inches yeah it looks pretty close 
right now what we'll try and do is drag this fillet over there we go I'll click and drag this one maybe Then we can adjust our spline points once again for the shape that we're looking for. It definitely looks like it's got too much of an arc at the top. So I think what we will do is we will drop this down to let's try four and a half inches. Adjust our points again. See, that's beginning to look a little bit closer. Bottom definitely looks like it's too fat now, though, doesn't it? So let's just take an inch off of that one. Not 60.5, we want 6.5. Zoom back in and we'll adjust our points a bit. Like how that changed the top, so I'm going to undo all of it. Then what I'm going to do is, since I like the top, I'm going to just fix it so it stops moving. <clears throat> and down here, we can adjust a few things. Then here on the splines, you can also see we have this little arrow. You can actually grab the end of this arrow and adjust the length of it. And you can also you can also grab part of it and change the vector of the curve. I believe that might be one of these here. Yeah, you can grab grab these arrows and change the vector of the curve at that particular point of the spline. Definitely did not like <clears throat> like that, did it? Excuse me. I don't know. I think that's pretty close. Close enough for this, at least. We'll see how it looks once we... Uh, a little bit further on with it all right so now that we've got that done you notice it said that it's the sketches are longer over defined i just went through and anything that was yellow or red since i fixed this top line it over defined the sketch so i just deleted some of those information to where it's no longer saying that all right now with that done what we can do is we can come to features and then we can extrude the boss of this sketch and what we want to do is we want to offset it just to make this so it's a little bit easier to see there's six inches of an extrusion this offset if we do a 20 inch offset you see it moves it back from the sketch plane 60 100 there we go see 100 inches puts it just inside there so 99 inches there we go and then the depth of 
the extrusion. We're going to do a blind one, and we just want to make this depth until it blends in with the wing along the top and the bottom completely. See the bottom's not quite there. Now it is. So we got this nice little preview of the outline on the, dot, on the bottom and again on the top. And then we can click OK. And there's our inlet scoop. It's all weird, and this is why we did this sketch here along the top previously. Now we can click on that sketch, do extrude cut, and then you can just do through all both. Click OK, and there we go. Now we have our nice little entrance duct, which looks pretty dang close to me. This is a little bit off, but we can go through there and adjust it now. But I think for now, that's enough for this video. I'll get it uploaded and we'll have another one here momentarily. So until then, see you next time.